It's Nanette of Do What You Love by Nanette. Welcome back to another episode of One Succulent at a Time. But before that, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Just in case you missed watching the previous one, I featured this beautiful Aeonium Sunburst, which is also called Copper Pinwheel, Tree Aeonium, or Tree House Link. And I explained to you some care guides and its proper propagation. So if you want to check that out, make sure to watch this video after watching this one. Now it's time to learn more about our Crassula ovata. It is a houseplant which has a similar look to a bonsai with a thick trunk and branches. Crassula ovata or jade plant is also commonly known as lucky plant, money plant, or money tree. It is a succulent plant with small pink or white flowers that is native to the South Africa and Mozambique. Even this plant does literally provide us with extra cash. The Crisula ovara is still a great succulent shrub. The word ovara comes from a Latin word ovarus, meaning egg shape, and refers to the shape of the leaves. See those leaves? These are fleshy, rounded up to 3.6 inches or 9 centimeters long, up to 1.6 inches or 4 centimeters wide, and grow in opposite pairs along branches. Its branches are gray-green with older bark peeling in horizontal brownish strips. It grows up to 8.2 feet or 2.5 meters tall sprangly branch at the base or with a single main stem up to 8 inches or 20 centimeters in diameter. Generally, these are very easy to maintain. However, the more you see to its basic needs, the better and stronger it will grow. It can tolerate the dry environment of heated homes, but if kept too hot, it will go dormant and begin to drop leaves. Jade plant could easily die from overwatering, so be careful to water thoroughly and then let the soil dry out before watering again. Good drainage is vital to the survival of a jade plant. Plant this in a freely draining medium such as a cactus mix and never ever let it sit in wet soil. Now let's talk about its propagation through cuttings and before we do that, let's find out what we need for this method.
so those are the ways on how to properly care and propagate our Crassula ovata. I hope you'll be able to apply the tips I shared with you and you will enjoy growing and propagating your own jade plant. Don't forget, it's a lucky plant or a money plant. If you find this video helpful, you may like this and also consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be informed when my next video launches. If you have any suggestions that you think I can feature in my next video, please share that down on the comment section below and I will be sure to consider that for you. Thank you again for watching. Remember, always do what you love. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of One Succulent at a Time. For today's video, I am going to feature another houseplant called Aeonium Sunburst, which resembles to a ray of sunshine with its big rosette leaves that will surely bright up your patio or garden. If you want to know my special tips of how to care and propagate this beautiful succulent, please keep watching until the end of this video. Let's get started.